Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and we are today in upstate New York, digging out an, another old Ford. So this one's pretty interesting. This is sitting at a property in, um, in upstate New York, as I mentioned. And uh, when talking to the family, they sent me some photos over, it's in a you know dark building. And looking at the photos and zooming in, I'm like, this thing kind of looks like a neat old hot rod. It's a little cut up, but it's all kind of there and it's got the cool old look we're looking for and of course it's an old ford we got to rescue it and uh, see if we can revive it so come on in and take a look you would never know that this from the side of the road or even walking the property is here hidden behind a bunch of stuff we have 1938 deluxe um club convertible coupe and I'll, i might have that the order of the words there incorrectly, but this is a uh, convertible coupe, um, and I believe it's a club coupe because it has a back seat. And we also learned from talking to one of our viewers that was educating me on these cars, it has a full trunk, so it's that's another way to tell, but it has a full back seat in it. Um, and we can see it's got some blue and white pleated interior in it. The dash is missing, unfortunately. Um, and uh, under the hood, is very interesting because it might be a little hard to see. Uh, it has a Pontiac engine in it, and again, the firewall is kind of cut up from a dual master cylinder. It's a little bit of, as you would expect for an old hot rod, it's a little cobbled together, but the car looks fairly solid. So the, the hard part about this thing is it's been sitting for a long time. The right rear wheel is off the car and sitting on the drum. We don't know why. There's some sort of folklore with this car that they put the engine in and then the frame broke or something, but maybe the rear broke and that's why the wheel's off. We don't know. So we got to try and get a wheel on it, drag it out of here. There's been some raccoons living on this thing. You can see all their little baby footprints. Oh, cute little raccoons. And there's poop everywhere as expected. Um, so we got to get this thing out of here and that's what we're worried about is what's going on with that back wheel is the frame broken we don't really know uh, and unfortunately we don't have machines here um, we have to use the truck and the winch and see if we can drag this sucker out of here but we're gonna rescue it it's just Mike and I this time we don't have a whole crew crew of people it's kind of cold fingers crossed this goes quickly because I'm already shivering <laughs> <laughs> all right so our first part of this uh, puzzle is we're gonna use Mike's truck here. We unhook from the trailer and we're gonna use Mike's truck to try and dig this little trailer out that's sunk in a little bit. You can see the raccoons or something have been living underneath of there. We hope there's none that are hiding in there. A lot of raccoon holes and uh, we're gonna try and drag it out. All right, keep coming. Towards me. Yep, straight back. Straight back, straight back. One second. All right, go ahead. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming, right there. It's like a, wow, oh, it's like, it's okay. like a grater. Yep. Uh, here we go, ready? One, two. One, two, three, four, yeah. uh, all right. So we can get something. Right, some pressure on. You want to get out of the way so it doesn't land on you. And not on the car if possible. <laughs> Save you. Your skin will grow back. Yeah. That's Maybe. There. Yeah, that'll get the trailer out. Alright. Other day. Good thing I watched a lot of MacGyver when I was younger. <laughs> Still touch that ball. Yeah, I see it's very, very greased. It was very dry and I can see bare metal. All right, we got our sketchy, cheapest ratchet strap we have. It's cobbled together from two broken ratchet straps. I wonder how that happens. Mike's gonna pull, and we'll see if this little trailer will um, move. All right, go ahead, slice it slow. It's, uh, it's doing something. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big hole under there. Yep, keep going. Tractor. Wow. 
<laughs> All right. Yep. Yep, keep going. That's working out great. Keep going. Just got to get away from that door. All right, so now we have a giant raccoon hole. Really, really don't want to meet those guys that are under there. I'm going to try and kick some dirt around that so we can get over it or throw a piece of board. It's going to be a problem. This big, heavy grater or whatever the heck you want to call it, somebody's going to correct me and call me stupid. Um, we need to get that out, and that's like cast iron. So that's the next thing we got to try and... Mike and I might try and roll it down and then roll it over here and just get it out of the way um, because we don't have any machines or anything. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully this, uh, our friend here doesn't come to see us, our family of friends. Check out this raccoon hole. Uh huh? You're gonna wrestle him when you find him, or the whole family of them. That was under the, under the trailer. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. So that, 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 that's our little wild card, as if our little family of raccoons comes, comes or to- Or the car falls through it. I don't think that happened. <laughs> I'm staying out of frame here, just in case, you know. That's enough you'll hear them scratching to get out, at least. That we don't have time to run. Hopefully, they're out foraging. Or they have a second exit. Oh, I'm sure they do. That's a little better. Ready? Oh, I'm going to dig out of the way. Yeah, we covered up the raccoon's home. Hopefully they don't dig out. The start of it, it continues that way. Yeah, it's everywhere. So we gotta, Mike's gonna work on shoveling some of this out while I'm gonna work on the wheel problem. So I don't know if we'll be able to see, but if you go over here, the scary part for me is, and we'll see what happens, this wheel is just like sitting here. It's got some kind of, I think, GM rear under it with parallel leaf springs. I don't see any lug nuts, but the, you know, the drums here, so we're gonna steal a couple of lug nuts off the other wheel, which is bolted on, and then jack this up, try to get this wheel on. At least, even if we gotta drag it, it's better to drag it on a tire than the drum, all crooked. And then we'll see what happens, but I gotta swap some of this around, try and jack it in the dirt. Mike's gonna be doing some excavating with the worst shovel in the world. It's the only tool we did not bring today was a shovel. Oh, stupid, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> hey. I'm about to tell you. Now we're all right. Wow. That side's okay. Uh, I think this is normally the reverse side. If I remember correctly. I might be wrong. I can't remember. Well, if we have to, we'll drive, we'll drive it on. And we'll just replace these studs over. Yep, it's tight. It's tight. Yeah. Apparently we found some uh, carnivorous raccoons. Yeah, was, uh, I just realized I was stepping over a... Uh, that's a deer, deer hoof. <laughs> deer hoof that's ripped off at the knuckle. Great. Oh, yeah. I don't want to meet whatever. Is there a mountain lion in here? Uh, well, we're, we're in an area where there's a yeah. thing. Can you let the jack down? It's got a mound of shit from dragging it. Son of a bitch. I need to lift that corner. I just can't get to it. Your corner, the wheel's dug. Oh, I see. 
Hold on a sec. Ah. Ready? Yeah. Not a great grab on the rear, but. Okay. You can probably get a tire on it. Keep going? Oh, dude, we gotta go. Oh. To get the wheel on, we gotta go way higher. It's touching the ground. Huh? Keep the hunt. Yeah, keep the ground solid. Just keep your keep your fingers clear. All right, leave that alone. I bet this was what Wayne Greeny's doing all the time. <laughs> Do some We'll let Steve take those off. Oh boy. Oh, it turned. I saw. Uh, all right. If my weak ass can do it, Winch can do it. Ready? are stuck. Come on. I guess we'll try and hook a, dig it a little and hook a strap to it. Yeah, you gotta dig all that out first. That's, my shoe was already full of stones. At some point you had an actual tractor here. That's like, that's like real tractor parts. This too. Super professional. We got uh, like 18 cell phones, all these bigger channels. We got a GoPro. My cell phone's precariously set here on some sort of farm implement. And uh, we got a strap. We're gonna, I'm gonna stand out of the way of the strap for the first minute, just to make sure it doesn't uh, explode. One second. Yep. Go ahead. It's rolling. 
All right, hold on. Let me get in there. It's rolling. Yep. Go ahead. We're dragging the rear. Hold on. Oh, man. I'm not that shovel duty. The rear's not moving, so. I mean, I got to put my way down, or we're just going to have to keep shoveling away as it takes. Go ahead. Yep, keep going. Go ahead. A little more. That's good. That's good. Ugh. Yeah. Hopefully no raccoons. Oh, there's an extra frame. Cross uh, member. Cross member. I wonder if that's what broke. The spring perch. Oh, look, it's got a gas tank. No, they converted the parallel leaf spring. Oh, that's the old they one. They just yeah. cut that right off the frame. That's the original one. They moved the gas yeah. fill. It's got another gas tank in I it. Had an interior. Yeah, the interior was done in this thing, which is kind of cool. See all the body filler popping off yeah. on it? It doesn't fit great. Oh, that might be that cross member. Yeah, the cross member's hitting me. Oh. Well, we got the tails on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the biggest bummer is this, this garnish molding and this. Probably there. want to pop that windshield out before we drive, too. If it'll pop out. The floor, the floors don't look terrible. No, they don't. No matter if they were peeing on it or not. That's always. Hopefully this was just the pantry and not the, the potty. Mm -hmm. How well do you want to scrape all this out? Just the big, you know, if you can reach under the seat and get the big piles out. Moon's gonna love sniffing this. Oh, yeah. right side mirror. All right, why don't we stop there? Hey, stop there. I'll give us room to correct the, correct it.
you're doing good. Yeah, I'm just trying to just keep it that way. Yep. Yeah. Once you oh. get the ramps, once you get both tires up on the ramp, and you're almost touching that cable, you can start yep. slowly cutting. <laughs> All right, we got the car all loaded and in the trailer. It fought us a little bit. Either the trans is stuck in gear or the rear is broken or something that the rear wheels were, were dragging the whole way. It is cold. It was wet on the ground. I didn't feel like laying on the ground to get the, to figure out what was going on. We have a nice heavy duty winch from Quadratech that um, we have used a bunch of times and this it drug it up. It didn't really care. We got it in. We're going to deal with that later when we get it home. We just wanted to get in the trailer and get on our way. Uh, this is just a super cool old custom hot rod that was done who knows back when. The inspection sticker is from 73, so we know it was done quite a long time ago. ago. And uh, just excited to have it. I've never had a 38 Deluxe. A 38 Deluxe convertible is super cool. So this is one I think we're going to tinker with and uh, maybe try to save and put back on the road. So as always, we're gonna get this off the trailer in another video, go through the car, show it a little more in depth, and try and uh, take the steps to at least make it a rolling, clean some of the raccoon poop, et cetera, out of the thing, and uh, hopefully eventually put it back on the road as we uh, always like to do. So thank you guys for following along. Catch you later.